Hi guys, what's up? My name is Arpit. I hope you're doing fine. Stay home, be inside. It's starting to get scary here in India. I just pray for all of us to be strong and get through this time. Be sensible, take care of yourself. We live in a different world. You must adapt your lifestyle, your business to flourish in times like these and not just survive. Internet proves to be even more important now. Technology is empowering marketers to do the unthinkable. In case you're interested about how AI can be used for marketing, we have a crash course. There's a free webinar that you can attend. The link is in the description. All right, now let's talk about how AI is being used in SEO. I'm going to show you five very important AI based SEO tools that can help you rank your website on the first page of Google. All the tools, all the links uh, for the tools will be available for you to download in a PDF format. The link is in the description. Let's begin the video. Voice search is the biggest trend in 2020 in SEO and will continue to be so in coming years. Nearly 50% searches on Google are now voice based searches. Hence, it becomes extremely important for you to consider voice queries in your keyword research. Generally, when somebody is uh, when somebody does a voice search on Google, they have a question, a query, they're looking for an answer. You need to identify questions that your audience will ask regarding your uh, product or service and then answer them. So here comes our first tool which can help you just do that. Identify questions uh, that your audience is asking regarding your product or service and then also help you create answers for those questions. Let me give you a quick demo of our first tool, Phrase, a very powerful AI based SEO tool. So they have two offerings. First is the content tool and second is the answer engine. We will explore the content tool. It can help you do question research using AI create content briefs and optimize your existing content. They offer a free trial. So I've just logged in. We will look at content brief, which can help you automate tedious research by generating an AI powered content outline in seconds. So I click on next document type will be content brief region. India is fine and search query will be digital marketing course in Pune. Then just click on create document. On the left, we have an overview. So we can see total sources processed as 19. So this means phrase has analyzed the first 19 results or websites that rank on Google for the target keyword. Then you can look at average source length. Title topics, must include topics, average links per source, and top links. Then you can see sources, title, domain, description for all the 19 websites. Then we have topics, high similarity. So these are topics highly related to the core theme. High frequency, these topics were mentioned multiple times across various sources. Outliers, these topics were mentioned multiple times in one source only. Then we have highlights for top topics. These are snippets for the high importance topics. By the way, guys, this document is totally editable. You can delete or add anything. You can insert links, assign headings, H1, H2. Then we have competitors subsection. So here you will see some long tail subsections used by your competitors. Then we have statistics. These are some sentences that contained facts, statistics or numbers. Then we have links. You can see here like nstmindia.com. That's my website. So we've mentioned these links on the page, which is ranking for the target keyword. Then on the right here, you can look at each website. Click on it. You will first see key mentions. If you click on each key mention, you can read more about it. There is also a summary of their content and also their statistics. Then click on topics. Then you will see topics covered by these websites. You can also see mentions per source. Then we have headings so you can quickly see all edge tags used by each website. This is really cool and can help you create your content quickly. Then we have questions which are fetched from Quora. So you should cover these questions in your content. So this was a quick demo about phrase. It's a super valuable tool that can help you do your competition research and create a content brief in just seconds. You can do a lot more. I have not covered everything. Do check it out.
while there are many tools that can help you find new keywords there are very few tools which can help you understand the intent behind those keywords understanding user intent is important if you want to get traffic from voice searches this brings us to our second tool called morphel morphel offers eight different machine learning models like you can see in their dashboard shopping stage completeness cart abandonment customer ltv user search intent customer segmentation churning users product recommendations next order value these are very useful models in our ai for marketing crash course we actually teach you how to build some of these models from scratch we look at the model user search intent as it can help in seo you should upgrade the way you do keyword research and add a search intent column in your excel sheet morphel splits user intent into four categories these types of intents correspond to the layers in your marketing funnel the first category is of informational or awareness which is related to finding information about a topic the second category is of navigational queries which are also called visit in person and are related to finding a place nearby or other types of local information the third category is of transactional queries which are related to accomplishing a goal or engaging in an activity and finally we have the fourth category it's consideration which are queries in between informational and transactional intent What's challenging is that the intent behind these queries is not always clear and inherently some of them will have a multi intent for example if someone searches for word hotels the intent depends on the context if they're using their mobile device their intent can be navigational which is finding a hotel nearby or related to consideration intent which is making an online reservation it could also be a transactional intent although this generic search suggests that the user might not be ready yet to make a booking of course if you're talking about small data volumes where we have few hundred queries we can manually label them or use a dictionary search for example if a query contains the word buy we can say that this is a transactional query but the approach doesn't work for tens of thousands of queries not to mention millions which is the data that we have available This is where machine learning can help with attaching intent to large volumes of queries when we don't have an exact match for a known word. For example, a query that contains a variation of the word buy or a word that's close to it, such as price or purchase, will still be labeled as transactional. You can feed Morphel with all your keywords in a CSV file using AI. It will label your keywords and give you a prediction confidence score for each category. Matching the search intent with the right content can help you improve important SEO metrics like CTR, dwell time and overall user experience to boost conversion rates. Let's jump to our third tool, Wordlift. So what can Wordlift do for you? Well, quite a lot. It can help you organize your content. Using natural language processing, it can identify entities in your content and organize them in four major categories: who, what, when and where. Like you can see in this example of sports website from an article about athletes of the century award it has identified who what where and when it can then create internal links for these identified categories you just need to click the entity you can also create new entities very easily it will give you suggestions for creating new entities based on open source content available on the web Wordlift will also suggest open license image that can be used in your content. You could also add a map widget within your content. You can display your events chronologically by adding the timeline widget. You can also add a code widget for your readers to visualize what relates to what. Navigator widget will recommend relevant articles to your readers. Using the face it search widget will aggregate all articles for a particular topic. Wordlift automatically adds schema.org markup to your article, allowing search engines to properly index and display your content and intelligent agents such as Siri and Alexa to access it. Wordlift publishes your content's metadata using linked data principles. You can see the metadata, you can use it to feed chat boxes such as Facebook Messenger, Telegram, providing live updates on your activity or automatic customer service in real time let's look at our fourth tool atomic reach atomic ai learns in real time 
how to write for your audience in a style they prefer. It results in more page views, time spent and conversions which is good for your SEO. They have a 30 day free trial. Once you're logged in under integrations, you will find various platforms Atomic Reach can work with. A simple way to rewrite your blog content is to use the fetch content widget. Simply just put your domain name like you see I've put mine here www.nstmindia.com It will take about 20 minutes to fetch Then get into the blog section You will see all your blogs have been fetched Just click on the blog you want to rewrite Then click on convert to personable language on the left is your original content and on the right is what Atomic Reach has written for you. I was surprised to see how good their AI is. I am going to highlight a small paragraph so you can clearly see the difference. You can pause the video, read both the sites and see the difference. Let's head on to our fifth and final tool called Personalize. Personalize offers a complete toolkit to create personalized experiences across web, apps and emails. But since we're talking about SEO, I will only stick to that. So how Personalize can help you? It can help you improve important metrics for SEO like dwell time and user experience. Imagine going to a store where the front shelves are stocked only with products that you like or reading a newspaper where the stories you are interested in move to the front page. This isn't possible in the brick motor or print world, but with recommendation engine, this is easy to set up on your website. You can personalize the experience of each user. In our AI for Marketing Crash Course, we actually teach you how to do this, how to personalize your website in real time. Personalize has a 7 day free trial. Once you're logged in, first thing you will see is that you need to add personalized tracking code on your website. Then you will see this screen with 4 wizards. We will look at targeting and personalization as that is most important for SEO. Click on select and you'll be taken to visitor targeting. On this screen, you need to create a segment of visitors using various targeting options. Then on the next screen, you need to select the content that you want to show to this particular user segment. I will not be able to cover all the targeting options in detail. They have built more than 70 targeting options, but I'll give you an overview, cover the important ones. We have visitor type, new visitor, returning visitor, or you can even say number of sessions. Then we have number of page views, device type, date and time, countries, pages. So you can trigger a pop-up or recommend a blog based on a specific page the user has visited. Session attributes are pretty amazing. You can set up personalized to track just about anything like cart value on an e-commerce site. Then we have landing pages. This is good for organic traffic. Then we also have ad campaigns. It can track based on UTM parameters. They also have weather because they have the user location. So you can personalize content based on weather if that makes sense for your business. User profile data is where you will find CRM data that you can also store permanently for a visitor. So based on all these targeting options, you can create your user segment. Then click on next step. Here you need to decide what content you want to show. There are a lot of content tools here. Starting from what you see is what you get editor, which is awesome. You can make changes in your website directly. I will show this to you in a bit. Other content tools are like countdown, banner pop-ups, product recommendations, image, text, webhook. You can send data to Google Analytics, form, send an email, and a lot of other content tools as well. Let's look at what you see is what you get editor. So my website link is already here. Just click on start editing. This is like a visual editor. Just click on any area in your website that you want to edit. Like if I want to change this text, I'll add the word interactive. If you want to delete a particular area, just click on it and then click on delete. If you want to change this image, let's say, so I will just click on this image and then click on change image. You can choose a file. Once you're done, you can click on save changes, but I'll just cross this. Then all you need to do is publish changes. If you click on publish to test, then only you can see the changes. It will happen only for your IP for testing purpose. If everything looks good, you can then click on publish to live. That's all. 
So these are some really powerful AI based SEO tools. These are less known tools as of now. Start using them to get an early mover advantage to outrank your competition. I worked really hard for this video. So if you like the video, make sure you smash that like button. Also subscribe my channel so you don't miss out when I come up with a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. See you in the next one.